I need water. I don't have my water bottle. It's over. Art theft. That is the subject of today's video. And no, we're not talking about your Hollywood blockbuster stealing the Mona Lisa type vibe. No, we're talking about something way, way worse than that. Stealing comics online. Hi everyone, my name is Ace Says Hi, and today we're going to be going over art theft. If you're no stranger to the internet, then I'm sure you know about various like TikTok accounts, Instagram accounts, whatever, that steal other artists' comics and then upload them online without giving any credit whatsoever to the creator. And it's an easy way for them to farm uh, views, farm content, whatever, without the creator ever seeing any rise in audience or profits or whatever. Today, we are going to be talking about one artist in particular and one scumbag in particular. We're talking about how pet foolery is trying to fight against this Alvin and the Chipmunk wannabe. <laughs> pet foolery, for those of you guys who don't know, is uh, probably most famous for the creation of the uh, Pixie and Brutus comics, which is about like a small little cat with a big German Shepherd who's like an ex-military dog or whatever. It's very cute, very wholesome, very fun comics. But he recently created this comic about dog protecting like a herd of sheep from creatures or whatever. and. It's uh, doing pretty well. And you know, this scumbag right here was uh, aware of this and noticed that there was no watermark on it at all. So he either took screenshots or downloaded the images or whatever of the comic and uploaded it to his little TikTok. And as you can see here, it has over 9 million views. It's kind of insane right now. And Pet Foolery, obviously, understandably, is like, Ayo, hey, WTF. <laughs> so he tried to actually reach out and this is a uh, retreat from his response. So Pet Foolery goes onto Twitter and says, this TikTok account stole my Instagram comic. They refused to give credit or take it down even after I contacted them. They even tried extorting me. Filed a copyright report yesterday, but I've heard nothing back. Evidence attached. Please help me out here at TikTok support. So Pet Foolery is trying to reach out to TikTok support to try and get this uh, taken down. As we can see, the sequence of event goes, uh, this TikTok account stole his comic and reposted it without permission and without giving any credit. He contacted them on TikTok and this was the exchange. Why did you post my comic without credit? And the dude just responds with a question mark as if like he can't tell that like this is the actual account. But you know, Pet Foolery indulges in him and says the Big Jack comic and this this scumbag, this this guy goes, what's it to ya? It's like the absolute balls on this guy to talk to the actual creator of the comic and just be like, yeah, I stole your comic. Who cares? And uh, Pet Foolery just trying to stay somewhat civil says, I created it. I'd appreciate if you gave credit. Uh, at Pet Foolery on Instagram. You know, he's trying to be somewhat understanding slash civil still, you know? Like, I'm not sure if Pet Foolery here would be okay with him keeping the comic up on, like, his channel if he just gave credit. But, you know, this scumbag response, how do I know what you did? I'm assuming that means, like, how do I know that you actually made the comic? Follow back on Instagram and drops his Instagram and Pet Foolery engages on there. And on Instagram, this is where things really get crazy. <laughs> this guy wants Pet Foolery to share my account in your story and I will remove it. Or give me $500 and I'll give you the bill. <laughs> and Pet Foolery, to his credit, just responds with, you're a clown. Because obviously, who in their right mind would pay $500 to someone to take down the artwork of something that they rightfully own. And the thief just goes, okay, baby, have a good day. Like what, <laughs> what? And what sucks is that TikTok support specifically, like I know it's hard on all social media in general, but I think TikTok is one of the harder ones in order to actually get a takedown request actually approved. And that's why this thief is just 
acting so confident like this if you go through his account his entire account is basically just a bunch of stolen comics from different artists and nothing has been done about it nothing's been taken down because there's just so so many different tiktok accounts that just do this they just steal stolen artwork and tiktok does nothing about it tiktok does absolutely nothing to deal with any of this issue this is a big issue that i know people in the comic and like art community have been complaining about for years literally years about people stealing their comics and while it's bad all over i feel like tiktok is probably one of the worst places for it where nothing is ever done like i know some places they'll actually take it down especially when someone has evidence like this pet foolery clearly has evidence that not only did they uh post a comic without any permission or whatever they straight up tried to extort this pet foolery like that's actually crazy trying to like blackmail and extort the creator of the comic in order to just not steal the comic like that's actually just insane to me and yeah it's kind of crazy i believe this issue started on like october 1st and it's now like october 5th ish nothing has been done about it yet i feel really bad for pet foolery i really hope tiktok support actually is able to do something about it but yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's the case. I just wanted to rant about this real quick because I find it so sad that not just Pet Foolery, but so many other artists just have their artwork stolen, like blatantly stolen without their permission like this by scumbags and thieves like this guy. And just nothing is ever done about it. it like, you must, it must feel so hopeless and you must feel like so helpless if you're just like an artist. I'm personally, I'm not an artist. Uh, the best I could do is probably like a stick figure, but I enjoy art. And whenever I like see one of these accounts, I try to find like the actual original artist to try and give them credit. But like, there's just, TikTok is just flooded with a bunch of people like this guy that just steal art and comics without giving any credit at all. So checking back on the video, he has since given artist credits and that's probably because Pet Foolery and his community have like been giving this guy so much backlash for it and going into his uh, comment section saying give artist credits or whatever that he felt pressured enough to do so. But it's only on this comic. As you can see on the other videos, there is still no art credit given to any of the other artists, including another comic by Pet Foolery. This guy obviously just felt pressured to do so, but that still doesn't change the fact that he was trying to extort pet foolery. Like, oh my God, this guy is truly a scumbag and deserves to have his account banned along with every other account that just steals the artwork from these comic creators. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. See ya.